What's up, YouTube? We are doing a full flinching team. Basically, these are going to be all moves that are flinching moves as my attacking moves. And some of the moves are like really, really, you just don't see them. They're very, very rare moves to see. So this was a cool theme team. If you want your theme team done, you can check that out in the description. This one is for Patreon. Now, if you have any theme team ideas, whack them below in the comment section. If you do enjoy these videos, guys, uh, give that like button some love. Let's get to this battle anyways. Now, um, there is some interesting bloopers, so you should stick around for the whole thing. If you haven't seen my upload earlier on tonight, you should have been sending it out properly. Make sure you check that. I put that up about... Ah, uh, three hours ago. Right, we have a mill tank lead here. This one was against Rayner on my pimp chat. If you do want to have a battle against me, you can. Um, I'm on every day at random times. Let's go. I'm using the fake out stomp set here. Now, st stomp is actually, well, you never see it. Um, the problem is I didn't get any flinches at all, uh, apart from fake out, which is 100% flinch. So I'm not going to count that one. Right, so I'm going for the stomp again, so I'm going to take Miltank out with a stomp. <laughs> it looks <laughs> it looks hilarious. Uh, just pause just pause it on when Miltank's getting squashed by that foot. Um, I'm sure we'll get a giggle, giggle out of that one. Right, so we have Lantern coming out here, going for the stomp again. Just uh, flattening that. I got a crit with that, so that was hype. But I didn't get a flinch. All right, going to uh, get scolded in the face. I just tanked that one with four health. I don't get a burn, which was uh, really awesome there too. Now, I might as well go for the stomp again. Now, on this set, I had Bite, Stomp, Fake Out, and Rock Slide. So, uh, I, I'm pretty sure it was Rock Slide. So, I had all flinching moves as my attack there. Uh, Lantern is going to hold on to that, and it's going to Volt Switch me out of here. So, when I was doing battles with this team, it was quite funny because they didn't really know what it was. But then, after about two or three turns, like, ah, oh, I know exactly what this is, just due to some of the moves I was using. Anyway, so bringing Haunter in here, going for the Mighty Astonish. Um, that does uh, quite a chunk of damage there, and unfortunately, uh, Solrock has a freaking weakness policy, so I'm like, oh no. So I've got Focus Sash on this set. I've got Destiny Bond, I've got uh, Astonish, I've got Will O Wisp as well. Now, I had some moves to help me out, right? But all my attacking moves were flinching moves. Obviously, not all these moves have a 100% like flinch chance, but. Um, you know, there, there was a chance there. Right, so we are, we are going for the Rock Polish on the Soul Rocks. It's a weakness policy. Uh, sweeping Rock Polish, Soul Rocks. It's it's pretty deadly. Now, as here, I was thinking, well, it's probably going to... The Destiny Bond will probably be a little bit obvious here. So let's go for the will o -Wisp so I can try and cut its attack and special attack uh, in half there. To my knowledge, it would. I'm not sure it was going to be just a fully... A physical attacker or a special attacker too. I wasn't really sure. Anyway, so swapping Haunter out there. I want to save that Destiny Bond maybe for later on or something like that. All those astonishes. Uh, those astonishing astonishes. Bringing in Claydol here. This set was absolutely hilarious. So we've got some burn damage there. Uh, the Soul Rock is going to go for the Overheat here. So it's a mixed set. Um, this is quite a bulky Claydol here. However, I wanted, as we're doing the flinching set, I wanted to run some cool ass moves on this. So I've got rest on this, I've got calm mind, I've got extra sensory. Extra sensory has a, a flinching chance too. And I've also got snore. So uh, snore is um, an incredible move. Anyway, so I've got, uh, I'm trying to get my calm minds up. Now, this set is actually a max speed, max special attack. It actually gets decent speed considering uh, Claydol's normally always known for just a bulky, you know, screen. Uh, calm mind bulky booster or anything like that, but uh, this was a little bit different. I haven't used Claydol for a while, so it's been uh, good too. It's, be, it's been a good while since I've actually used him. Okay, so here I was. I, I needed to. I needed to go to sleep right so I could start using Snore. Now Snore obviously has a flinch chance, and I want to go first so I can flinch the Soul Rock. Okay, so the Soul Rock's nearly down to the burn. Uh, it's going to go for the Rock Slide now. Uh, that's not going to do very much to me there. It's still. Not, <laughs> I was thinking I'll probably get flinched by it. So going for the extra sensory here because I'm not asleep. I'm, I'm like I'm, I'm still awake, so I can't go for the snore. And that's going to take out the soul rot there. So no, uh, no flinches as as of yet. Um, as I said, we're not counting fake out. Okay, so I've got the uh, leftovers on this too, just for a little bit of recovery. And obviously, I've got, when I'm asleep, I can use I can just spam snore. All right, so I go for the rest here because it's a uh, it's a Murkrow. I want to go like I, I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to go first because it'll probably be like a bulky set relying on prankster. Okay, so I've got the rest off. It's going to go for the nightshade there. So obviously that's going to do uh, you know, 50 fixed damage to my Clodol, which isn't too bad. That's fine. Um, that, that's cool. So I wanted to get some more calm minds up, but I needed to get like obviously had nothing else to hit me there. Um, I just 
uh, with Toxic there. So I'm just going to go for the Snore here. And that does quite good damage there. I don't get any flinches there. Okay. I'd, I'd say that must have been like a misclick or something on the Toxic. I'm not too sure. Anyway, so going for the Snore again here. Since you only sleep for uh, two turns, I, I have to you know, get two Snores in. And uh, I don't get a flinch. Again, I'm, I'm, by this point, I'm, I'm getting a little bit... Uh, I'm getting a little bit salty because I haven't got one flinch yet, and it's you know I'm meant to be doing a flinching team. I've got to um I've, I've got to get that luck. Okay, so I'm I'm looking like this is just I'm thinking it's probably going to have roost or something like that. So I'm going to swap out and go into Jinx in. Now this is a very interesting Jinx set. Um, this one is a physical set. Now I've got Zen Headbutt on this right. It actually also gets uh, Heart Stamp as well, but I chose to. Um, I think I chose to do the Zen Hadabar over that. So I've got Meditate. I've got Heart Stamp. I've also got Miracle Eye as well. Now, Miracle Eye actually allows you to hit Dark Types. So this was a, like, I really wanted to try this one out. Okay, so I'm going to boost my attack here. Unfortunately, um, it actually had Feather Dance, which really did counter me because it's a physical set. So I was like, oh, damn it. I had to have that move. So I, I wasn't really able to, um, you know, hit it for super... Like super amounts of damage. So anyway, I thought, bugger it, let's just go for it using Miracle Eye. Um, you never ever see Miracle Eye being used ever, so I wanted to do that. Okay, so going for the Zen Headbutt here, I thought, well, I might be able to get some flinches in a row, and I, I, I didn't. So going for uh, the Nightshade again on my Jinx, I'm already poisoned there, uh, which sucks. Now, my other move on this... Sorry, my other move on the Jinx was Fake Out, but that was 100% uh, you know, flinch stance, so we're not, we're not counting that one. Alright, so I'm going to get Nightshaded again, and I'm going to go down to the Toxic. So that Murkrow really did counter me there with, like, the... With the, fe sorry, with the Feather Dance there. So I had Leechy Berry on this too, if I got low range, so I could meditate and, uh, meditate up and just keep going for the Zen Headbutts. But, uh, yep, I, I got countered, but that's how it was. I, I got to use Miracle Eye, that was pretty fun to use. Alright, so bringing in Charizard here, this is a Max Special Attack, Max Attack set with Choice Scarf. Rock Slide doesn't kill... Um, now, Murkrow is going to go for the Nightshade here. Obviously, the Murkrow is Everlight, so it's tanking things really nicely. Uh, it's going to go for the Pranks of Toxic now. So, uh, that, that's that's not very good. I didn't want to get poisoned, but um, I was hoping this one didn't miss, and it doesn't, and that's going to take out the Murkrow there. So, um, Charizard had on this set, I had, I had Rock Slide, I had Air Slash, I had Bite, and I had Fire Fang. All of those moves, um, it was actually a mix set, and all of those moves were flinching type moves. Okay, now this was also a Beatles team too, if you didn't guess by some of the nicknames. Uh, that's a that's a band for some of you youngins. Right, bringing in Kaleido again because it's basically, uh, it's on low health and it's asleep. Uh, Kadabra is going to use Psychic there, even though I resist that, it still does like, quite a lot to it too. Okay, I wasn't sure if this had Life Orb or Everlight or Focus Sash, so there's some of the items it likes to run. Um, obviously there, so I'm going to go down to the Psychic, so that's my Kaleido down. Uh, but it, it was fun. I just didn't get any luck in this battle with the snores. Okay, so we're well into the battle now, and I still haven't got any flinches, guys. I, I was I was trying so hard here. So going for the bite here, I outspeed the Kadabra and I one shot it with bite. So that was uh, that was I was pretty uh, thankful that didn't have a focus dash. I'd say my Charizard I would have gone bye bye then. Okay, so I remember I'm locked into bite now. So. Lantern's going to come out here. I was like, mm, this is going to get very close. I'm going to have to rely on a flinch here. So going for the bite, and guess what? I don't get the flinch. So I'm going to go uh, down to a Volt Switch here. So I'm, I'm starting to... The salt levels are starting to rise pretty high here. So I've got my Haunter left, right, on one health. So I thought, well, that'd be a good Pokemon to bring in. Uh, plus, my last Pokemon really wouldn't like going up against Gogo. Now, here I was thinking... I could go for Destiny Bond, that could be too obvious, or I could go for Will-O-Wisp, who was a physical attacker. I decided to go for Destiny Bond because I just thought, bugger it, let's do that. Uh, thankfully, it does attack me because I didn't, don't think I had much uh, ways to actually take that out with my last Pokemon. Okay, so Haunt is going to go down, and so is the Go-Go. Now, this was quite funny. So, the last Pokemon um, I had also was also Lanterns, so we both had Lanterns. Now, I was actually running a... Instead of running the normal Volt Absorb set, I was running a Water Absorb set. So I actually absorbed the Skull, which was hilarious. And it was also quite hilarious. We both uh, had Lantern at the end of the battle too, like out of all the Pokemon. Okay, so I'm going to use Confuse Ray there. Now, this set had Confuse Ray, Thunder Wave, Rain Dance, and Waterfall. Waterfall being the uh, flinching move here. 
Now, since I was, you know, quite salty that I didn't get a, a flinch the whole battle, I thought, well, I'm going to uh, confuse it, right? Then I'm going to see if I can... I'll just let it get a little bit of health left left um, with the uh, waterfall, right? And then I'm going to set the rain dance up, and then I'm going to take it out with a... I'm, I'm gonna, I want to flinch it. Anyways, um, since it didn't have too much health left, I wasn't really confident that it would, like, live it. Anyway, so anyway, uh, the, uh, I've got the, I can't really put the parafusion on. It gets past the confusion, and it's going to toxic me, which is cool. Uh, this was a max, uh, this was, sorry, this was a max health, max attack lantern there. Anyway, so I'm going to go for the waterfall, and that's going to take out the lantern. Guys, I didn't get a single fucking flinch this whole battle. All right, I'm not salty. Watch the bloopers, guys.